Good morning. It's Wednesday, April 10th, 2019. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for today's journey. Our devotion today is entitled, Missing Reality, and our scripture is Luke chapter 18. Taking the twelve disciples aside, Jesus said, Listen, we're going up to Jerusalem where all the predictions of the prophets concerning the Son of Man will come true. He will be handed over to the Romans, and he will be mocked, treated shamefully, and spit upon. They will flog him with a whip and kill him, but on the third day he will rise again. But they didn't understand any of this. The significance of his words was hidden from them, and they failed to grasp what he was talking about. Have you ever missed it entirely? You saw what you wanted to see, not the reality that was staring you in the face. If you have, you probably have little difficulty understanding why the disciples just didn't have a clue. Jesus told them plainly how the next week was going to play out, and they just couldn't connect the dots. They missed reality for a pipe dream of an earthly king, a political messiah who would whip the Romans and usher in a new regime. They were holding on to a now and right now mirage while Jesus was trying to pull back the curtain and show them reality. They couldn't have missed it by a wider margin. Now, to the disciples' credit, they had walked with Jesus for over three years, and they'd seen incredible miracles and signs that authenticated their teacher as the one promised by the prophets to deliver Israel. They were starstruck, earthbound people, fishermen, tax collector, a rabble of common folk following the Son of God. They had simple faith in him, not imagining for a moment that any power on earth could kill him. After all, they had seen him pass right through an angry mob that wanted to stone him and confounded every Pharisee who ever tried to trip him up with rhetoric. How could they kill this man? No one was like Jesus. It's tempting from our vantage point 2,000 years and a resurrection later to marvel at how the disciples couldn't see what Jesus meant or how little real faith they had. But lest we forget, those men, even Judas, had left everything behind, family, jobs, safety of hearth and home, to follow this unknown rabbi. And they'd stood firmly with him after the adoring crowd started diminishing through this final year of opposition. They did have real faith. Most of us have a faith that knows nothing of sleeping on the ground, uncertain of the source of our next meal, away from homes, family, and friends, staking it all on the promise of this man who said they could connect with God through him. They had missed the reality of his call to follow. They had just missed the reality about where they were going. The disciples were my model when I first surrendered to ministry in 1978. I was going to follow Jesus wherever he led. Of course, I wasn't any brighter than the disciples, and I found myself trusting some assumptions that the Lord had never promised. I imagined, for instance, I would graduate from seminary, go to a church as pastor, stay there 40 or 45 years, and retire. Well, 40 years later, there have been several graduations from four theological schools. Nine churches served, and everything but staying in one place for very long. In hindsight, I can see God's hand at every step, and his purposes have peeked out from behind the curtain to help me understand why God moved the way he did. So, come to think of it, I was right to think ministry would be like it was for the disciples. We've seen plenty of miracles and been confused by most of it along the way. We found out that his ways are much higher than ours and more than a little difficult to understand. But in every circumstance and every need of life, we have also sensed the confidence of everlasting arms holding us up and holding us close. There have been times when it seemed like the darkness would win, like we were three touchdowns behind with only a few seconds left on the clock. But God was always in control. We haven't missed reality at all. We've had a front row seat. For you today, when you follow God today, don't expect to understand right away or see the path clearly. Just keep praying and trusting and stepping. It's a journey, 
not unlike traveling through the birth canal of reality. You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.